So today I'm gonna to walk you through the FAA's new 107 recurrent training that they just came out with. Kind of walk through how to access it, what it's about, and what you need to know so you can get it done, get out and get flying. So let's go. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it. It's good to see you. So if this is your first time here, my name is Keith and this is Alien Drones. And I do a lot of drone tech, photography, tips and tutorials, and industry news. And if that's something that's of interest to you, you may want to hit the subscribe now. That'll let you know when there's new stuff available that might be of interest to you. So let's talk about the FAA's new 107 recurrent testing. And for you hobbyists and recreational pilots, don't worry, I got your back as well. Uh, the FAA did state that there's going to be a test for recreational pilots coming up in the near future. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that training, even though I don't need it, uh, not required. Uh, but I will go through that and I'll do the same thing. I'm going to show you where it is, what's in it, what you need to know so that you can uh, pass that test and uh, fly as well. So again, even if you're recreational only, make sure you subscribe because when that comes out, you'll get notified then that that's available. So with regards to the 107 training that just came out, uh, this used to be the recurrent uh, training and testing that you needed to do every 24 months. And it was kind of a pain. I mean, you had to study a lot. You had to go to a testing center. It was 150 bucks if you passed or failed. Uh, so it was kind of an inconvenience. So now the FAA has come out with this new process, which is more of a training. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that here. I'm going to show you where the site is and what I did. I'll actually walk you through the test that I did. Uh, and yes, there is a test at the end, uh, so uh, I'm going to walk you all the way to the end. And then, of course, if you have questions along the way or things that come up, dump them in the comments uh, as I'm uh, going through this video. That way you won't forget them at the end. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the FAAsafety.gov. Uh, that site will uh, get you through the training here. There's a lot of stuff on here that's not related to the recurrent of stuff. It's a, another site. Uh, and what we're going to do is log in. And if you don't have a login already uh, to the FAA site, uh, this site, you're going to need to do that and get your information in there because this is how it's going to keep track of you. So I do have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log in and hit go here. All right. And now once you're logged in, uh, your name uh, should show up here, your email up on the top. And you're going to go down here on the left, go down to this spot where it says Part 107 Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems Recurrent. So what you're going to do then is click the review course. So once we go to the top of this, a few things to note, you're going to see a few items highlighted. Uh, you're going to see yellow, a green and gray. Uh, yellow is going to be the uh, current chapter you're in. Green is going to show you that the site thinks you're completed. Uh, and the gray means you can't get there yet. You haven't gone through the process far enough to actually get to that section. All right, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and click into chapter one. You'll notice that it turned to yellow, meaning we're currently in that chapter. We're going to click play. What's going to happen is you're going to be some chapters you're going to have to review. So click through those chapters. There's going to be a little intro video that shows up here, uh, talks about uh, what's going to happen in that chapter. And you're going to keep going up, do next. Once you're done with one section, review the information. You're going to do next, go to the next one, read the information. This is your training portion of the course. Uh, as you get closer to the end, the information uh, that you just reviewed, there'll be a little intermediate kind of quizzes in the middle. So for instance, this first one then uh, comes up, talks about uh, understanding of the uh, requirements uh, for 107. And indeed it says you're operating this 2.8 pound quadcopter for your own enjoyment. Is this small operation subject to 14 CFR.107? And of course, we know, no, that's not. If it's truly for enjoyment, then indeed you do not have to be a 107 certified for that mission. So we're going to click that. Notice it pops up, says correct. And you do OK. Go to the next section. Going to be a few more questions here you're going to need to answer. Once you're done with this, it will then take you back to the next section and continue on. So we're going to kind of buzz through some of those. And this will happen then as we go through all the different training section in the course. So a little bit of information as well. Uh, when you started this, it did say that it would be about two hours. Uh, I found that I did it in almost exactly an hour from beginning to end, and I was trying to uh, record and things like that. Uh, so if you're a quick reader, I would expect you could go a little bit faster. 
uh, and if it's uh, you want to take a little more time and review things then you know up to two hours might be reasonable but it did take me about one hour to go through the entire course and uh, uh, get my take the test and then uh, get graded at the end also one thing to keep in mind when you're going through this information is that there are documents that are available for you to download. I did download some of those because they are pretty interesting. Uh, so you might want to do that, uh, save those as well, just for future reference. So speaking of the test then, uh, once you go through all of this information, you get to the end, uh, there will be a test. Uh, the interesting thing is that the test is self-correctable, uh, meaning that you must get 100% to uh, pass the test uh, before it will give you your completion certificate. Now, unfortunately, when I did the test, uh, I got 100%, uh, so I don't know how that self-correction works. I suppose I should have tried to get something wrong. I, I thought I might anyway get something, but I didn't. Uh, so what I'm assuming is going to happen is it will go to the uh, question that you got wrong, uh, give you the opportunity to understand what the question was and why you got it wrong, pick a new answer, click it, and then resubmit the test, and once you're at 100%, uh, then it will uh, go on and uh, say that you're certified. Hey, speaking of the FAA, those planes uh, going over constantly here. So, hmm. so once you get through with the exam, uh, it'll pop up here and let you know what your score is. Like in this case, it says 100%. And once you're done with that, you can go to the next steps, which will get you your certificate. Uh, you can get it emailed to you, or you can take a screenshot or save it, download it from here. Now you want to make sure, of course, as always, you have this information with you because this is the only way you prove that you're current on your 107. So if you are approached by law enforcement or you're approached by somebody, uh, heaven forbid, by the, from the FAA while you're doing a mission, you'll need to show that that you are current. So make sure you keep this information with you as well. So that's what the recurrent training looks like as of today. Of course, if anything changes or I get some updates or uh, find something new, of course, I will let you guys know. So I hope this overview was useful to you and eliminate some of the anxiety you might have had not knowing what this uh, retraining and testing was going to look like. That was the case with me as well. I didn't know before I started what it was really going to be like, how long it was going to take or how hard, anything like that. So again, if it was useful to you, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Uh, comment below if you found anything of use or if you have uh, further questions, maybe something that I didn't go over or something that was uh, not clear. I do appreciate it. Uh, your like and subscribe and comments do help YouTube's algorithm uh, let people know that this video did have some relevance and some use to people and without that it won't promote it. So of course I really do appreciate it when you guys do that. It does help this channel grow and without your help uh, you'll never see content from this channel. So of course if you do like it, uh, it's free. I promise. Just click away. We'll be good to go. And with that, until next time and next video, good flying. Some of the anxiety. <laughs>